What would you like? A juicy steak cooked to perfection with garlic, rosemary, and pepper? Or perhaps the most tender piece of salmon in a sauce made of cream, fragrant mushrooms, and a fantastic white wine? Or how about lightly grilled tomatoes with baked zucchini with a touch of caramelization? Food is passion. Food is love. Food is life for everyone in this world. I'm a chef, so I know what I'm talking about. Although that's not me. This is me. But it's okay. In a couple of years, I'll be a celebrity chef too. That's my dream because celebrities get the prettiest girls. And until I'm famous, I'm using this trick of mine. It might be a bit painful, but it works every time. Hey, you jerk. That's no way to treat a lady. Does it hurt? It's all right. But I've got a job interview tomorrow, and I think my nose might be broken. That's my work tool, you know? And what job are you going for? Well, a restaurant chef. A chef? <laughs> I happen to work at a restaurant. No way. Yeah. You and I have a lot in common. You're just a boy. Don't understand. You don't understand. Oh. oh, it feels to love a girl someday. You wish you were a better man. You don't listen to her. You don't care how it hurts. Until You're just a boy going well I'm um, I've got to go now hold on are you running away running away no I'm just going that's all just like that that's it what was that between you and me thanks a lot it was super fun super fun what do you mean <laughs> Come on. No, I don't have any money. And besides, we never agreed on anything. I always knew I'd be a chef. Not a policeman, fireman, or astronaut. Not even a president, but a chef. How are your pancakes, huh? Delicious? Claude Monet is undoubtedly the coolest restaurant in the city. And I bet its head chef is the best in the entire country. Chef. Chef. Chef! The boss is calling for you. The boss? Are we still living in a world where slavery exists? Doesn't he have a proper name, huh? You peasant. Here we go again. Uh-huh. Lost in the soccer game. How much? 2,000. Unbelievable. Why do those pigs always lose before my shift? Good, Good morning, morning to you, chef. chef. Cook this steak medium rare. Yes, chef. Never use this disgusting cognac ever again, you hear me? Ready now. Dice it finer. Tenderize this meat. Some rosemary. Hey, hey, hey! You should salt it in seven minutes to make the meat more tender. Idiot. Move it. 
Just three minutes until it's ready. Watch it closely. Yes, Chef. Aydura, sarken şebaldu. O ne kadarım, Chef? Oy ba, emek taz kim kerek? Karay, Chef. That's shit. That's shit. Wow, that's shit. Yeah, that's shit. Did you get hammered? Does it really show? There you are, bon appetit. Uh, Would you like anything, chef? Just water. Still or sparkling? But later! Right, I'll get it. No, I can't forget tomorrow When I think of all my sorrow When I had you there But then I let you go And now it's only fair That I should let you know What you should know Would you like me new? What's that? I said, would you like a menu? Ah, no, no, but thank you, miss. I came here to see Mr. Mitchell. He invited me to work here over a year ago, and... Just keep me posted. Ah, oh, there he is. Sorry, Mr. Mitchell is busy at the moment. You're welcome to wait for him here. Imagine, they missed a the goal at the 91st minute. Like the pigs they Hey, are. listen. It's none of my business, but you should quit drinking. Mitchell. This place is full, guests are happy, and competitors are livid. If it turns the other way around, fire me. I'm inviting our competitors to come here tonight. So if you screw it up, I'm gonna fire you. Which competitors are those? The ones from the restaurant which is about to open, on the other side of our wall. Shall I poison them? Hey, don't poison anyone. The one who's opening it is our friend. He's also going to bring his new head chef with him. He says he brought this person from India, that he's amazing and he's gonna kill it. Well, I doubt people are into curry. Good luck with that Indian chef. I wouldn't curry to worry about those guys. Hey, don't you go anywhere. Yes. All right, I'm coming. When I get back here, we're gonna have a detailed discussion about what you're gonna cook to surprise our esteemed guests tonight. No surprises. I've had enough of them from you. Uh, sir, good to see you again. Well, you and I met about a year ago. Do you remember? What you and I have met before? I certainly don't remember. In any case, thank you very much for finding the time to come visit our humble restaurant. I hope that you enjoy the food. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, sir. Attention, the train to the middle of nowhere is leaving soon from platform three. What happened? Well, everything's super. He just hired me and sent me to the kitchen. That's fine, Max. Well, then right over there. The restaurant owner isn't the most important right. person in the kitchen. The main thing is for the head chef to like me. Excuse me, are you the head chef? I'm not. Why are you asking? I'm here for a job interview. He's the head chef. Excuse me, chef. He's here to see you for a job interview. Oh, well, all right then. Let's go have a chat. Tell me about yourself, son. Uh, so here's my resume. <laughs> a truly professional chef needs no resume. One look in his eyes is enough. Or at his hardworking hands. I saw your potential straight away. Mm-hmm. So let me welcome you to our team. Drink and smoke. Chef, sorry to interrupt, but Victor's coming this way. Oh, not that half-wit again. Okay, I'll be right back. Keep drinking and smoking. Thanks a lot. We ask all business class passengers to go to the VIP lounge. 
What is this freaking nonsense? Who the bloody hell are you? Get up right now. Hey, man, you gotta calm down. What are you doing here? I'm here for my interview. Well, what freaking interview are you talking about? For the job? The head chef just hired me, by the way. The head chef? Sadie, did you tell the chef I asked for a new menu? Uh, yeah, I already told him. I see. But... That's it? What the heck are you doing here? Um, I had a little chat with the head chef. He gave me a job. I'm not sure if I should take it. Your kitchen sure is basic. Listen. There's no way he's going to work here. Who won't? This idiot! <laughs> right. Wait a moment. I don't get it. Since when have you begun giving orders? Just step aside, will you? Arthur! Chef? Who's the boss in this side? What? You're the boss. Interesting. I'm the boss in this part of the kitchen. Well, what about that part, and you know? Yes? Tell me who your boss is. That's easy. You are, Chef. Well, I'm the boss there, too, so I'm the only one who gets to decide. Who's gonna be working in my kitchen and who's not? Rookie, you're hired. You'll work two days and get two days off. Meanwhile, a certain someone can go back to the restaurant floor to boss her waiters around. Ah, oh, pardon me. As well as to maintain the unique atmosphere of our restaurant, which they are personally responsible for. <laughs> now enough with this rejoicing. Get back to work, you idle bunch. Hey, Leo. I've got a special task for you regarding dinner. Have you been to India? Why are you still here? Go get change already. Uh... Hey, congrats. What? Chef, I'm ready. What do I do? Why not put up a circus? I'm sorry? Why not build a circus, a factory, a taxi depot, or a crematorium? What on earth brings you to the kitchen? Just answer me, Max. Well, that's because I'm a chef. And I'm a true professional. Say that again? What are you? You're a professional? Come over here. See that man? That's Arthur. He might be an nincompoop, but he can shave your legs with a knife so fast you won't even notice it. Look there. You see? That's Inira. She's been working with us for three years without a work permit. And that's Louie. Every day our restaurant earns a hundred grand from his desserts alone. Can you do that, Mr. Professional? And over there is Victoria. Throughout her time here, she hasn't slept with a single person. Even though many have tried. Now that is what I call professionalism. Tell me what you can do, Mr. Professional. I certainly know how to cook. Really now? Attention everyone! Attention! Silence! Finally, some good news! After a very, very long time, our kitchen has been graced with the presence of someone who knows how to cook. We have waited five years for him. And hallelujah, here he is now. That's him, our savior, the chosen one. I've got an important job that only you are capable of. What is this dish? It's beef and mint marinade garnished with artichokes, chef. Are you serious? Leo, our dinner guests are from India. Well, I know. Do you really want to serve beef to an Indian? Why not, chef? What would you say if someone served you a masterfully cooked Archangel Gabriel? Garnished with some artichokes. How about that, huh? But, chef, um, that's blasphemy. Exactly, isn't it? Leo. I told you we've got Indians coming tonight, and yet here you are planning to feed them a holy cow. Do you understand what that will look like to them? What is wrong with you people? Do I have to do every single thing myself? Go on, hurry up and bring some mutton or pork over here. Chef, here's an idea. I'll make my signature dish. Sauteed chicken breasts and cream sauce with spinach and pine nuts. When I worked at a restaurant in my hometown, everyone absolutely loved it. What a super idea. 
Actually, I think I'll accept your offer. Totally random dude who got into my kitchen only today by pretty much pure luck. Since you're saying this dish of yours was such a huge hit in your hometown. Theodore! Chef? Get me another five crates of bananas. Can't you see he's got nothing to do? He's too idle. Yes, Chef. Chef, this is nonsense. What's the point in taking off the stickers from the bananas? For balance in the universe. Because somewhere far away in Africa, a rookie who is just like you spends his days putting these stickers on. By the way, this rookie is exceptionally good at cooking. All right, then. I will give you a chance. See, we've got this regular guest here. You think you can make a dessert for them? Arthur! I'm here. Where's Madame Eleonora? Is she here? Yes, Chef. I just saw her. If you manage to please Madame Eleonora with your cooking, then I will finally believe that you can cook. <laughs> okay. Hold on to your socks, Madame Eleonora. This is the best dessert that women get all crazy about. Chef. Yeah, what do you need? The dessert for Madame Eleonora is ready. Attention, please. Right now, Madame Eleonora is going to try this dessert prepared by our rookie. Let's all go. Hey, Madame Eleonora. Madame Eleonora, please come. Madame Eleonora. Come here. Enjoy. Look at that. She won't eat it. Nope, she'd rather have some meat. <laughs> well, that's not fair because that's a dog. Yeah, and she's a real bitch, Max. The world is far from perfect. <laughs> now stop gloating, everyone. Get back to work. If you want to prove something to him, make a bet. What's that? Make a bet with a chef. Chef, why don't we make a bet? What did you say? If we don't g give my food to a dog, but to a regular person, I'm sure they're going to like the dish. Sure, let's make a bet. You'll cook a dish especially for me. If I like it, you win. You can stay and keep working here. But if I win, then you'll have to leave this place naked. <laughs> you got a deal. Move it, ladies! We gotta hustle! Let's annihilate our competitors! Anira, stew pan. Here, chef. Louis, butter, 200 grams. We, oui, chef. Merci, monsieur. Hey, Leo, rabbits and truffles, please. And Theodore, slice this thing. Arthur, you should Julian that. Oh, as usual. Step away from me, you rookie. Daddy's going to cook now. We're here to have dinner with Mitchell. Good evening. Welcome to Claude Monet. Please follow me. Mmm. Hi, please sit. Mitchell. Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine. I'm very happy that you're here. I welcome you both. This is the best restaurant in the city. Well, <laughs> it's the best for now. Right. We're opening our restaurant in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I'd like to introduce to you my head chef, Helena. Hmm, <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought you told me that. Your head chef was from India. Did you not have enough money to get the expensive one? Well, I was referring to her. She worked at the best restaurant in all of Delhi. Well, maybe not in all of Delhi. She's just being modest. Before that, in New York. Mm. And in Venice, right? Yes, 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 right. And what about your head chef, the drunkard? Tell me, does he still have his liver? <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm sure his liver will outlive your restaurant. Well, good for him then. Victoria! Yes, how may I help you? Bring us the main course, Victoria. Our guests are real hungry. They can't wait to taste normal food at last. <laughs> yes, but could you please make sure that my food doesn't have any pepper in it? Of course, sir. I'll warn the head chef right away. Victoria just told me that we can already bring out the main course for our guests. Take these away. Hey, Leo. I'll be in my office, thinking up a brand new menu. I 
I think that you're really good. It's a pity that he's not going to appreciate it. Well, we'll see about that. He won't even try your dish. And even if he does, he won't enjoy it. I know what he's like. Wait a minute. We're gonna need an impartial assessment. If anyone asks, you saw nothing at all. Nancy, what's taking so long? Do I have to do everything in here? I'll bring this out. Just get back to work. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Oh no, what's this, head chef Victor? What on earth have you done with this dish? Well, I have no idea. I didn't know that our guest hated the taste of white pepper. Well, you really should have known that. After all, you're the head chef. Chef, chef, come quickly. What on earth happened? Have you finally learned how to cook beef properly? No, chef. Your dish poisoned our guest. Mr. Mitchell left with him. Hey, what happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. What did you cook for them? The ambulance doctors told us he's allergic to pepper. This is serious. He could die. He's allergic? But this isn't my dish. What is this? Nancy? <sighs> Nancy, answer me! That's my dish, chef. This is all my fault. Because I replaced your dish with my own. To prove myself to you. What is going on here? Is this a street food stall? Who on earth are you? Well, I'm the head chef at a restaurant where customers don't get poisoned. Pepper. Chef, I never added pepper to this. Chef, I had no idea how this dish could possibly... Well, I, don't really I didn't care know, care Chef. Whether wait, you're wait, thinking or not. No. How dare you send your dish to me, sir? Remember, this is my kitchen. Mine. You had no right to do what you did. None at all. And you put evil health and life in danger just to show off. I have to fire you for this catastrophe you caused. But firing you for this isn't nearly enough. You should be arrested and jailed. Get lost. Hello? Yes, Mitchell. Hey, Mr. Mustache. It's not often you get good news, right? They ran a few medical tests on my friend and found an aortic aneurysm. So if it weren't for him having an allergic reaction to your dish... He'd be seeing his dead grandma tomorrow. Well, it appears that you just saved his... his life, my dear mustached friend. By the way... Don't clear the table. He's gonna finish his meal. And you too. <laughs> See you. Oh, Rookie, you're still here. Chef, I got it. No need to keep humiliating me. You've been bothering me the entire day, so I'll humiliate you for a few more months. So you're keeping me on? But why? If I start thinking about why I'm doing it, then I'm definitely going to fire you. Chef, are you really keeping him? I made a bet with Ainira that he's gonna run away in only a week. By the way, Rookie, you lost our bet. Oh. I had nine lives, but I lost all of them, and I've been searching... In life, everyone deserves a second chance. Some people are able to earn it through a lot of hard work. Other people are granted one by life itself. And some want to have a second chance, but are too afraid to admit it to themselves. So, to sum it all up... Life is full of surprises.